This here video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Howdy doodly everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful... Uh, again, it depends when you're watching this. So I just hope you're having a great that, and yeah, let's get into this. So as you guys know, X-Factors are kind of like the new thing in this NHL, and near the end of NHL 21, I was trying to do some simulations just to see what would happen if you took a 99 overall offense versus a 99 overall defense and had the teams play against each other. So going to be doing something kind of similar today, except this one is going to be strictly focused on X factors. So I'll show you what I mean and do not criticize the logos, please. Not my finest work. I just sort of tossed whatever I could together. So yeah, as you can see here, this is the defensive team. So the rule is I had to take the top 12 X Factor forwards, and I had to remove one player that was the same overall as the rest. I just took out a center because, um, yeah, for position reasons. But anyways, uh, and then every other player on the team for the other positions has to be below 50. So, as you can see here, the entire offense is below 50 overall. I just took whatever players I could find first. And if we go to defense, we see we got Hedman, Carlson, Petrangelo, Roman Yossi, Dougie Hamilton, and Kale McCarr. So these guys are all... X factors there. I think that's what that symbol means. Otherwise, this video is clickbait. Um, but yeah, goalies, we have Vasilevsky and we have Hellebuck. All right. So there you go. Two insane goalies. I had to cut, I think it was Carey Price. And I can't remember the other goalie. But yeah, uh, man, that's going to bug me. Anyway, yeah, they couldn't make the team. So uh, I just did that. And I also had to cut some defensemen as well. Like I think Seth Jones was one, maybe. I believe so. Anyway, let's go to the Ontario offense now. So, best lines, as you can see here, we have Panarin, McDavid, and Kucherov, all X-Factors. We got Ovechkin, Dreisaitl, and Paddy Kane, Pasternak, McKinnon, and Marchand, and then Matthews, Crosby, and Eichel on the fourth line. That is ridiculous. In defense, there you go, all below 50. And then, of course, in net, we have two goalies below 50. So, Go ahead, let me know who you think is going to win. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, I'm leaning towards defense right now, but let's find out. Let's go to playoff mode, which thankfully EA Sports kept in the game. I appreciate you. So playoff mode, let's do it. And let's get the simulation underway. No, they still didn't fix the alignment. Oh, come on. You had one job. I do really like the game so far this year, though. Like, I'm, I'm loving it. I don't know if you guys are enjoying it or not. Hopefully you are, but I really like it. The menus are awesome. I like them a lot. Be a pro is kind of same as last year, but you know, it's still great. I'm not going to complain. And yeah, it's just overall, I like the game, but that, that is a nitpick and it drives me insane. But anyway, Ontario offense, Dallas defense, let's start and let's get in there. All right. Game number one, let's simulate it and let's see what happens. Let's Turn up the speed there. Boom. And the defense get on the board first. Roman Yossi going to strike early. They have another power play here. Well, not another. They have a power play here. Not able to capitalize on that. The offense strike back. David Pasternak is going to bury one. We have five minutes to go in the first period here. Shots are even. All right. It's very interesting to see. Offense are probably going to get more shots, I would assume anyway. Second period underway. 1-1 one, one after 1, and Roman Yossi going to get another one here early in the period again. Petrangelo going to bury one now. Makes it 3-1 to one for the Dallas defense. So the defense X-Factors right now are really bringing it to the offense. The offense strike back, though. Kucherov is going to put one in with 5 minutes to go left in the second period. And that will bring us to the third with a score of 3-2 to two in favor of the defense. And let's get the third period underway here. We got a 3-2 game. And this is a nail-biter already. Halfway through the third, no goals yet. Roman Yossi couldn't continue his streak of scoring early on in the periods there. Five minutes to go. Will it be a shutout total third period? Yes, it will. And a 3-2 victory for the defensive X-Factor. Let's have a look at the three stars of the game. Roman Yossi with two goals. Petrangelo with one apiece. And we got Vasilevsky with a two GAA, 28 saves. And a 9.33 save percentage. Attaboy, Vazzy. Hopping right into game number two now. Get that simulation speed going on up there. And we have no goals early on in this one just yet. About to be halfway through the first period already. A couple power plays for both teams. But nobody able to... The defense don't even have a shot yet. I just realized that. 
Marchand going to score, and the defense finally get a shot, and they score on the second shot, and it's one of the 40 overall players. That is hilarious. All right, let's continue going here. We have a total of 20 shots for the offense. Patty Kane going to score one. Marchand going to follow it up with another goal. All right, so the offense are really bringing it to the defense this game. About to be halfway through this matchup. Shots are definitely in favor of the offense, like heavily. Crosby going to bury one there, make it 4-1. to one. So last game was a nail-biter heading into the third. This one looks like it's going to be in favor of the offense quite significantly. 36 shots to 10. Another power play for the offense. Matthews going to penalize the defense for that one, making it 5-1. to 6-1 to one now. Kucherov buries one. Holy crap, what happened this game? An absolute blowout. Defense really held their own last game, but this time around, they are getting annihilated. Ovechkin going to bury one and make it 7-1. to one. I am going to be honest, did not see that coming one bit. They finished off with a grand total of 49 shots. Patty Kane got a goal and two hamburger helpers. We got uh, two goals out of Marchi and then one and one from Over Chicken. All right, let's get game number three underway. Turn up the simulation speed and the offense score on their first shot of the game. Very interesting. Okay, so there you have it. Offense in the lead again here. Defense striking back though. Petrangelo going to bury one. For Dallas, and halfway through the first period, we have a tie game, 1-1 here. Shots are looking a little even again here in the first game, unlike the second game, which was an absolute blowout. All right, continue. Will the defense be able to strike early here, or will the offense? Let's find out. So far, no. It's been a very balanced game this time around. No one is running away with it, that's for sure. But offense are starting to run away with some shots. And yeah, they are really tallying up the shots. But it looks like they're not going to be able to score here. Third period. 1-1 hockey game. And Ovechkin is going to put the offense in the lead. 30 shots to 12. And the defense are now down by one. Can they strike back though? They're going to need to soon. I mean, I guess the series is only 1-1. So it's not super urgent. But I mean, you don't want to go down. That's for sure. And we have a... Oh, I was about to say tie game, but we don't. Oh, my word. All right, chill out, offense. 4-1 victory for the offense. And really, it was like a 2-1 victory, though. It came right down to the end there. Patrick King getting 1-1 one one again. Ovechkin getting 1. And Petrangelo up there with one goal on the board. So the offense are now winning the series 2-1. But it's definitely not a guarantee because it's been back and forth. But, okay, the offense are... Really starting to make it look like it's in their favor. So it's 2-0 now. Makar is going to bury, I believe, his first of the series. Make it 2-1. But Ovi's going to bury... All right, what's going on here? Just an absolute shootout. 3-2. And we have ourselves a one-goal game heading into the second period. Offense are in the lead. Press the wrong button there. All right, keep it going. Will the defense be able to tie it up? Or are the offense going to carry away? And it looks like they're going to get away here. 4-2 to two, halfway through this game. Defense really got to step up here if they want a shot. Otherwise, they are Dunyans. Oh, man. Panarin's going to put one in and make it 5-2. to two. Things are looking rough for the defense. Shots are 36-10. to 10. Score is now 7-2. Oh, wow. How the heck did the defense manage to win the first game? And then get absolutely blown out in two of them. Okay, 7-3. McCarr giving them some level of dignity here. Five minutes to go in this one. Uh, it's obvious who's going to win it. But will the defense strike again? No, they will not. And neither will the offense. Okay. So now we have a 3-1 series. And honestly, the offense are making it look pretty easy. They have two games where they've completely dominated. And yeah, there's the three stars. McCarr... Patty Kane with four apples, and then Dougie Hamilton with two down there as well. All right, defense, this is it. You are officially on the brink of elimination, and you're being outshot already, pretty dramatically. 7 0 8. Okay, never mind. They got a couple shots in there. Good for them. But the offense, I was about to say, haven't scored yet. Now they have. Crosby going to bury one on Vazzy, and that will now make it 1 0 for the Ontario Squadron. Okay, let's head into period number two now. It is one nothing for the offense. The defense have their backs up against the wall. And, okay, that guy, Kovacevic, is going to score for the defense. They have a lot of goals, I feel like, from their players who, you know, 
or less than 50 overall. But anyway, McKinnon's going to put one in, bring the offense back in the lead. Patty Kane's going to score again. I'm really starting to think my prediction was off with the defense winning. But man, they have their 50 overall players or sub-50 overall players really coming out here. Kucherov's going to make it 4-2. to two, And this power play could make it 5. Yeah, that's it. They're done. The defense are done. Oh, man, I, I thought it was going to be a lot closer than this, especially because of the first game. But it looks like the offense have really decided to not let... Oh! Did I speak too soon? Dougie Hamilton going to put one in. 5-4. Oh, no. McDavid buries one. And so does Ovechkin. And there you have it. The offense completely destroyed the defense. So that actually is different from our simulation on NHL 21, where the defense were better. But, I mean, I guess in this case, it's not 99s. It is just the X factors. And also, interesting fact... The defense, I believe, were 64 overall, and the offense was like 40-something overall. So, yeah, I'll go show you that quick after this, but let's have a quick look at the stats. So, Patrick Kane with 11 points, completely dominated. Ovechkin put up 7. Same with Cooch and McDavid. Dreisaitl put up 6. So, yeah, it's pretty much all the forwards here. Where's the defense? Yossi put up 5, was a dash 4. All right, Petrangelo was a dash 4, put up 4. And we got this guy, Braden Boehm. Put up four points. Certified beautician. Makar put up four. Carlson four. All right. Well, there you have it. I'll scroll to the bottom here and quickly show you those stats. We have a plus eight from this guy. Good good on you, lad. Does anyone else have like a really high plus minus or is he the best? Wow. Guy has the best plus minus. True legend of the game. All right. Goalies. We have, uh, yeah, I guess the, no one ever got pulled. Drawback with an 858 and 241 and then Vazzy with a 5.0. GAA an 872 save percentage. That is a rough go for Vazzy. So if you guys can think of anything else based off of this, then go ahead and let me know. I would love to try an experiment experiment with some other stuff. But yeah, see the Dallas defense are 64 overall. The Ontario offense are 49 overall. So that's something going on there. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, very interesting. Okay. Well, anyways, that was that. The offense really ran away with that one. After the defense took the lead in the first game there. And like I said, I thought it was going to be close. Nope. Did not turn out to be close. The offense really brought the heat. And the defense couldn't handle it. So, yeah. If you guys have any ideas for any videos similar to this. Or if you have any uh, simulation in general ideas. Draft ideas. Stuff like that. Go ahead. Leave it down below. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a good time on this game. I am so far. And that's going to do it. So, I'll see you soon.